after party, guys. After party, after party, after party. You guys have any, you know, like now, like everything is uncensored, which is sick. Um, don't have to worry about any fucking word. No, he definitely noticed it. He noticed it. He reads the chat, but I, like he 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 doesn't like to, you know, mention a thing. Um, but I still love him, you know, even though, you know, even though he, he, he doesn't like me so much. Um, I wonder... I wonder if this React video, this React Andy would be good to do. But I'm just, yeah. It's a trend now, yeah. It's been a trend for a long time. It's not even trendy anymore. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Well, if it's nice filler content while I'm waiting to do 3v3, I mean, why not, huh? I'm really afraid of getting banned, though. I, I don't dare to do it. Everything has to be screened like crazy. Yeah, I will talk to Reese about it. Why would you get banned though? I'm very controversial, man. I'm very controversial guy. How does your app stroke with all your values and norms of helping humanity? Third time I've asked. It enables me to do more good. I mean, a hundred dollars which for someone in Europe or US means not so much while for someone in Africa that is in a dire situation, it's the world. It's a difference between living in poverty, extreme poverty or not. It's crazy. I think how much will your app cost? It's gonna be free. My app is gonna be free. <laughs> I can't post links here, YouTube. What is your thoughts on the effective altruism movement? Ah, it's a complete joke. It's just a complete joke. Yeah. 
How is it a joke? Effective altruism is doing altruism work in an effective manner. And that's the last thing they're doing. They're not being effective altruists. They're just, most people that are even in the movement are just in a place in their life where they think, oh, let's do some good and just go about it in the most unscientific, most, you know, emotional way possible. I'll give you guys a little funny story about um, effective altruism. Actually, there's two guys that came over here that were in an effective altruism group in London, I think. And uh, I was like, what do you guys do there? And they says like, yeah, people just do whatever. Some people code, there is some like, you know, they just go party and and, and, and drink and do weed and and I'm like, but what is the effect of work? Oh, they, they think AI and they do some AI stuff. It's very like effective algorithm is very AI focused, but they do jack shit. And then the guy, the owner of the fucking building messaged us, asking us, saying, can you fund? Because I'm running out of cash. And that's the thing, like being effective altruism requires you to be able to sustain yourself. And if you can't even do that, then what the fuck is effective altruism? Then he started charging people there and most of them left after that it's just so fucking funny well funny it's not funny it's just sad but yeah just like starting an organization and being effective requires you to have a lot of insight and take a very uh a very smart approach and yeah I want the game to be out. Once the game is out, we will see if I was wrong or not. Yeah. The thing is, I feel you are exploiting, abusing people, their weaknesses with the app and your audience is the week within our community to help another community. I follow you in the end goals. The thing is though, you got to know that most of you guys, and you don't like to hear that, are extremely spoiled and take everything for granted and are very, very, very extremely um, entitled. And uh, I don't mind taking some from you guys if it means the, the, the difference between life and death for others. It's just like, uh, it's extremely, extremely narrow-minded to assume that you guys need these $100 or $200 or $500 more than people that can't even eat. That's just, you know. So yeah, that's why I have extremely little, uh, I, I don't even see it as evil. Like, I don't have to trade one death for the life of more. I just have to trade some entitled, spoiled people that, willingly are spending the money it's not like i'm stealing from them willingly because i'm providing a better dopamine provider than other apps to save lives then uh yeah it's 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 definitely the right thing what i'm doing do you think ubi is possible to introduce we will have projects programs rolling Athene, who can I talk to about DBX for support? It's not letting me trade even though I have enough Ether. Is anyone here? Can him help him out? Like, how does that mean it doesn't work? What is it that doesn't work? It says not enough Ether when I go trade. How much Ether do you have? Do you buy for your full amount? Because you gotta you gotta take into account that some ether is required for the transaction.
Thirteen dollars in U.S. ether. I think that's too little. <laughs> what is the gas fee now? I think it's even more than thirteen dollars. I think the gas fee nowadays is fucking through the roof, right? What is it? Thirty bucks or something? Ah, is it only two dollars for a transaction? Ah, yeah, you need 20 to 30. Okay, well, there you go. You need 20 to 30 dollars. It's so high because Ethereum is fucking crazy high. You see how fast you get backed up here by the community? We dinged, by the way, huh? like I already told you guys yesterday huh? that we dinged. I can't wait for the game to be out. See, a lot of people are getting purpose, but a lot of people are also selling and I guess undercutting. Who's, like a lot of people are selling as well. Let me quickly check. I'm always so, I'm always so surprised of people selling. It's like, what the fuck? Why would you sell? Yeah, there's quite some. 1,437. I wonder if it's people that are actually buying and selling to trade or just, yeah, want to cash out, I guess. Yeah. No clue. Yeah, maybe people are selling for COVID. Would you see it as an issue if we saw big investors suddenly dropping millions on purpose while it's at three dollars? Yes, yes, I would have I I would have quite some issues with that. Yeah, that would really be problematic, actually. Well, it depends how much millions, you know, if it's one million. But even 1 million, that's 300k purpose, right? Oh, man, that's too much. I don't like people having so much. I would like people to have no more than 100k purpose. How would you even know someone could just use Mixer and buy 1 million on separate wallets? But yeah, nobody's buying for a million, though. I think the game will slowly become popular and it will slowly, you know, start snowballing. I think we will ding quite a many levels before the crypto world gets, gets, uh, before we start getting crypto whales into the mix. Yeah. How can you get purpose just through DBX? Yeah, I promote it to, to you guys, but you guys are all fucking poor, man. If people are, if I hear people struggling on the stream with money, then I don't mind to, to let them know about purpose, but I don't want big investors to come and make more money. Fuck that. Yeah, most people are just buying, what is it, 1,000 purpose, 5,000 purpose max. It's like, whatever, man. Yeah, people starting to drop $10 million is scary shit. You need Ether first, and then you can get purpose. You need to get Ether first.
Would you say 500 purpose is a decent amount? It's okay. Although you gotta, you gotta think like, let's say for whatever reason, purpose hits five, uh, hundred dollars, right? Imagine that happens. Then if you look back, you're gonna go like, okay, that's 50K, right? Well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna think, oh, that's 50K. You're gonna think like, holy shit, why didn't I get myself more? That, that's like, you would actually feel bad about it. But yeah, some people literally have, yeah, some people have like 10K, right? Yeah. Say 10K purpose is nice. 10K is 1 million, right? If it hits 100 bucks, 10K is good. I don't tell people to take out loans, though. I don't do that. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I tell people to do it, though. I see. Where can I learn about purpose? Can someone link the videos? Like the links of the purpose are a little bit outdated of the addresses, but hey. When is it realistic to hit 100? I don't think it's unlikely by the end of the year or next year, actually. I don't think it's unlikely. End of year or next year. I don't think it's unlikely. By next year, I would see it's, I would deem it as more likely than unlikely by next year. Oh yeah, man. I actually think if our game does well, right? A little bit, right? A little bit well. I think Wall Street bets will be on it like crazy. I actually think Wall Street bets is going to jump on it. The reason why is because Wall Street bets loves to find these, these uh, eccentric ways of making easy money. And they will figure it out and they will explain it. And people on Wall Street Bets will, will get the math because I'm explaining the roadmap over and over again. But nobody, like almost no one is actually taking the time to look at the numbers and understand that this is fucking big, fucking big deal. Oh, they will do crypto. They only won't, won't want money, man. Yeah, they're pump and dumping, but the thing is though, the beauty about our, 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 our purpose, you cannot dump, you can only pump. That's the beauty of it. What would you want the price to be before whales come in? I just want, like, like I just want whales to, to have a, a healthy amount, which is not more than 100k purpose. So whatever, you know, make the math yourself. Anything below 100K is, is fine. More than 100K, I, I would feel uncomfortable with. What about Doobie? Well, Doobie, I don't care. Huh? I mean, like, you can only have so much. Well, yeah, that's 300K, but 100K is not going to disrupt the market. Well, if... Uh, if a whale comes and drops 10 million now, he can literally have half of the entire purpose in circulation. It's absolutely bananas. So, yeah. Oh, it did happen. I just refunded them. Yeah, purpose has grown 
I remember morale. How much did you get it at? 2.2? I think 2.2. It's now at... I got a level 52. 52, let me see a roadmap. What is level 52? 2.7 oh yeah and now it's three why well, yeah calculate that out man that's 10 percent. it's more than 10 percent 11 percent or something So it's not stupid for us to assume that you will increase the price yourself when the game comes out just so no wheels get in for cheap, right? It's possible, but I'm not, I don't talk about these things. These things are possible. Once the game comes out, shit is really going to hit the fan, though. Yeah, shit is really going to hit the fan. It's going to go very fast as well. February is still, you know, I talked to Ricardo today, actually. I talked to Ricardo. And basically, around half February, we will have a beta that I can play with everything, with all the bugs and everything. That's basically when people actually run out. I'm talking here about people actually running out here. Zero work not taking over someone else, no, zero work. I will play it together with Nolan. We will see if there's anything that is really broken, but hopefully it shouldn't be the case. We come out with the beta. It's gonna be a huge one. The next beta, we will send all the people that got registered or whatever the ability to play. I will pump it as well on the stream because now I'm not. And uh, we will fix the bugs and then we launch. And while we fix the bugs, we will also make sure that the update is, you know, is approved and everything. But we already approved, so it's it's quick. I'm making a, a gacha game. There's a link. Right now, purpose market cap is 10 million. Ah, so 30 million, I guess. But these are rookie numbers. Are you going to fix the chest bug? It's so annoying. What is the chest bug? It's probably already fixed anyway, but yeah, what is it? I mean, you're playing a... Ah, oh, like the you you you're playing. Did you make a a post about it? The thing is right that um, the version you guys played right has literally so far we have fixed more than ten thousand cards since the last beta. More than 10,000. No. The performance, like, it's probably because some of options you didn't toggle on or something. Should work smooth.
will there be 30 fps locked phones mode for low-end phones <laughs> we don't do that we have dynamic fps and resolution depending on your phone the fps gets dynamically changed and also the resolution gets changed yeah the, like you gotta in order to fix it you gotta go to the settings and you gotta disable replace and spectate and then you will be instant smooth again how long do you think it will take from the launch of the beta to the moment that purpose will explode i think it will be extremely fast if the game has a little traction it's basically game over The purpose is only on DBX right now. Yeah. What, two, three years? Are you crazy? No, 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 no. I see us already ding like crazy the first month after launch. Oh, it's going to snowball very fast. If game flops and 30 mil down the drain, nah, man. But I find it fascinating that people think the game is going to flop with everything I said. If game doesn't have traction, what's the plan? Analyze data and push it through marketing if it, until it works? Well, yeah, it's like we just check. The, the, the only way that the game doesn't work right is if our current statistics are completely off, like completely, which is very unlikely, but let's assume that's the case. And then it's just looking at why do people stop playing? Because we can literally just look at the statistics and see when people quit. Yeah, my mom doesn't like my game. What if they not even start? What? If they not even start what? What are you saying? What if they don't even start? What if they don't start playing? Well, ads, huh? you just pump ads. What does the purpose coin have to do with your game? How do these two combine make people money? Oh yeah, so purpose, you can go to game for good and there you have literally a, a, a store where you can burn purpose to get stuff in our game 30% extra, first of all. Secondly, you can export your progress in the game and you can sell it for purpose and for Duby. Like our game has full blockchain integration. shop.gamingforgood.net and the way it even works is we're going to make it so that it's super user friendly so you don't even need a wallet or anything the wallet is in the game you tap it and you can immediately get it from in the game you just have to confirm the transaction and you get it it's a very simple user friendly way of doing it here I think it's that, right? Is that the link? Does that work? Yeah, that works, right? Yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah, it works. As someone was over at the compound and went back home, there's a good ass reason I spent my entire bankroll on this shit plus loans. Innocent, are you a real Artemy? 
I guess so. It's one of your uh, alts. Yeah, you must be real Artemis. Chocolate cake guy. It was not chocolate, I think. It was just a cake. I don't mind too much. Like, he came back, though. He came back. He came back and helped out a bit. So that's cool. He came back and he, he helped out. So I appreciate that. He wanted to leave earlier, though. Which was really... Yeah, which annoyed me quite a bit, but he ended up deciding to stay. <laughs> did you sell anything, by the way? Or did you manage to stay afloat? Innocent. Did you, did you have to sell more or did you manage to not have to sell? Because almost, eh, man, almost, huh? Eh? I, I see. Fucking feels bad, man. Your business model still focuses, in my opinion, on the wrong audience to be ethically correct and suit your ideology, my humble opinion. I can't see CEO managers big earners pumping money into the app. Solominki. But I don't want CEOs and managers and big earners pumping money in the app. I don't care about that. We're self-sustainable. We don't need investors or anything. Did you ever hear back from Raphael? What? I don't get that one. You mean Fabio? Not really, no. Are there any good links to show people that still believe in the slander from X, the journalist video? Uh, don't try to convince people. Let time figure it out. Do you regret being alive, Sneed? Just meditate that you're a clone and then you didn't lose the 5,000 Bitcoin in 2013. It was, your, it was the original and you're the clone. Don't carry it around. I think the weight you're carrying around is more than the Bitcoin you lost. But yeah. You know that uh, purpose is going to be the next Bitcoin, but it's going to be more solid. I actually think that. It's going to be a more steady Bitcoin. Yeah, Eldi, you're going to feel really sorry when you see purpose go up like crazy. You're going to have tears. What uses would it have outside the game? You would just sell it for Ether and get cash, right? I mean... How much for 2.5k per purpose and what will happen if it gets to that point? Oh no, that's really like 2.5k you're talking really like, I think that's years down the line. 
because getting thousands is a lot easier than getting 2.5k because it goes up exponentially yeah? Seven hundred billion cap, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't the cake, but. What happens after the last level? There is no such thing as last level. Yeah. I'm surprised not more people get purpose though. But I guess people just I'm surprised more people would get GME right now than purpose. That's just absolutely bananas. But it's just Yeah, there's even people here that sold sold uh, purpose. There's people here that sold purpose for uh, for Ethereum because it went up. Not that I care. Yeah, it's just the FOMO kicks in and they make the most stupid decisions. Like literally selling purpose while Ethereum is at all time high is just insane. It's just bananas. But yeah. I developed it by myself, yeah. You should collect all doubts and people have and make a video where you tackle each. No, because I don't care. I, I, I'm not demanding party for people to get purpose. Yeah. Oh no, we see it through, we see it through, uh, well, to the blockchain, we can see literally everything. Yeah? yeah, we can see what, what, what people, uh, yeah. Just quickly checking something here. Okay, three minutes. Gonna call it a day soon here. How is it lower schooled? Literally so many people play these type of games of all ages. What are you talking about? This gacha trash. I think our Clash of Streamers will be insanely popular amongst kids i have monkey on ignore no i mean the people playing your game and putting money into it sorry but your target group is the lowest school and this low paid community i've seen people spend 400 euros on dbz games and i just don't understand why that is your target group why are you so frustrated by the way because i think that's a better question like I mean, there's a lot more evil fuckers in the world, you know. <laughs> Maybe you should go and try to school these guys. I don't know. It's like I'm trying to do good and most most uh, big spenders, right, that spend hundreds of thousands of dollars are, uh, are rich people. 
actually in AFK Arena, I mean the guild casuals, right? Like casuals has a guild and they have a separate section called uh, casual life and they're all fucking living in fucking crazy houses and have I don't know how many cars and they just drink wine fucking I don't fucking know they they just post pictures it's it's really crazy like uh and they all spend some of these guys spent hundred thousands of dollars it's really yeah it's big baller life it's 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 insane by the way it's actually fascinating to see it I'm literally in like a, in a little elite club there. And it's quite fascinating to see how they glorify spending money on useless stuff. It's crazy. Still feel like the controversial persona is the biggest threat to the game. Ah, no, man. Look how, how my reputation already... Look how my, my reputation already is turning around, even with just playing some WoW amongst WoW streamers and everything. People are already much more cool with me. My point of view, Solo Minky, like, I don't really build myself on a point of view. I, I, I just look at facts, you know? Point of views don't bring f food on the table. Facts do. Just saying. Okay, that's done. Did my thing already for today. I like that. You can shit the AFK arena. Every reset on Sunday, you gotta immediately get your mercs or other people snatch them. It's such a shitty system, whatever. Nobody remembers bullshit and when they try to... You know, morale has grown a lot being here, you know? People don't know that, but she experienced a lot of shit here about like all this doku and see how it all fucking unfolds. She knows what is real now and what isn't. I bet like, you know, if you would ask her three years ago, she'd be like, no, Athene, your reputation and this and that. I feel so concerned. Now it's just like, man, nobody believe or remembers this bullshit. And it's just fucking, you know, comes and goes. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. It's really like that. I mean, it's a lot more fleety. But my wow, the comeback is quite, quite nice. Like, I, I, I established myself very quickly back into the wow scene. It went very fast. Just a bit of a shame that uh, that the WoW category got so much punches. Yeah. I think this turn on cancel culture has helped you a lot because honestly you were like the first person to get cancelled and if you compare the grounds of your cancel compared to the shit people get cancelled for now yeah it's true it's true I think my documentary will do a lot more now than it would have done during the Trump administration when it comes out, it's going to do a lot more. It's actually... No, the docu doesn't feel outdated. Because you still have cancel culture, even now. Look at Zico getting banned for saying fuck it on the, chat, on, on the stream. It's just crazy.
the docu comes out on the same day as the game. Yes. The docu either spreads by itself or it doesn't. I think you're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of React Andes on our docu. I think people are gonna do React Andy on the docu for sure. Oh, for sure. I see even Has Hassan Bey or whatever his name is doing it. I see Destiny do it. I fucking see Destiny do it. It's too relevant, man. It could be too long. It's 40 minutes. It's 40 minutes. But it starts so sensational morale. The moment they're watching it, they will like people in the chat will go like, keep watching, keep watching for sure. Yeah. They watch things at 1.5 speed. What? She's trolling me, right? I see. Fucking hell. You guys watch porn at 1.5x speed? <laughs> That's really funny. That's crazy. Things are going faster and faster. At one point, you're just watching videos as a frame, 100x speed. Is this really the case? Can people confirm? Do you guys watch docus at 1.5 speed? OK. So I should watch my docu at 1.5 speed and see if it's. I see. I will do maybe a poll tomorrow. I see, I see. I'm just a boomer. I'm literally a boomer <laughs> watching content at 1x speed. Actually, I do speed things up myself too, though. I do that myself as well. Actually, I don't even, like, I do speed and I skip as well. I speed up and I skip. Actually, I do it. I do speed up. I do it myself too. Yeah, I skip, but I also speed up. If I need to watch everything, I speed up. 2x I have issues with because I, I can't even understand what they say. Sometimes it's too fast. Well, see, and then you think I'm full of shit. I didn't know that it was so, you know, so boiled in. Like, like I, I, the stuff that is really, well, yeah, it's only slow as shit that I. 
that's why there are subtitles i see i'm just trying to fit in i felt like a boomer i really felt like a boomer and i was like i'm going to you know do a comeback i i don't just fucking speed up i skip on top of that man guys i'm still young i'm still pumping that blood i'm still young guys Yeah. Man, it's already 1.10, I should call it a fucking day. Fuckers, man, I can just talk loose stack of time. I gotta discuss with Reese the React Andy, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it, because I'm gonna do 3v3 soon. I like to do React Andy on stuff that is really interesting, but people will just leave the stream. I'm more interesting than the videos I show. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I can speed watch at 1.5x speed. Yeah. But man, if I watch stuff with you guys, it is so controversial because I'm going to just look at facts and people get just triggered all the time. Yeah. You know, if I could watch the, the documentary, right? But I already said in the past, and I would know nobody records it. I would literally watch the docu because I'm curious what people would think about it. But I can't do it because people would record it. They would fucking record the docu and it, it will already spread. I don't like that idea. But yeah. Reacting to Pokimane and Fedmeister drama leakage document. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Man, me reacting to Twitch drama. Like... Yeah, I would really be Papa Teen. No, it wouldn't even work. Someone got cancelled because he sexually abused people at the gaming house. Well, if 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 there's actual evidence for that happening, then you know, yeah. Guy got wrecked. But how did he sexually abuse people in the gaming house? How? Yeah. Oh, getting into girls' beds and touching them without their consent, then claiming he was drunk and didn't remember. I see. Well, that's not smart.
Did that actually happen? Fucking hell, the drama. <laughs> like, that's just, oh my God. I see, I see. Holy shit. But you should be really careful, Destiny, because you can get banned if you talk schmack about other streamers. You gotta be really fucking careful. No, no, I don't do that shit. Are you fucking crazy? I'm not gonna get into that shit. I want the game to come out. Well, I really wonder how Destiny is going to react with the documentary. Oh my God, he's going to have a field day. <laughs> he's going to explode. He's going to explode. We didn't remove anything so far. Yeah, I, like it. Like I watched it. It's not too bad. But we will see, we will see. Maybe a disclaimer, yeah. I actually don't even think that's a bad idea. I will see. I'll make a note for that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Man, the documentary, I'm telling you guys, uh, I know how to get, I know how to get views. <laughs> like, uh, and I don't even have to try hard, you know. Just gotta explain what happened and that's all. Yeah, I think a disclaimer is a smart idea, though. Yeah, I like the idea with the disclaimer. It's actually a really smart idea. Surprisingly so, Maral, it's your first good idea. It's your first good idea. Because, no, Maral, sometimes you come and you say the most fucked up shit, and I'm like, no, Maral, she... At one point, started having a breakdown and crying because the trailer was in the fucking docu, and she went really all bananas. And also the first time when she watched it, we did change it. The first time she watched it, she cried a lot. She was so emo emotional. Yeah, yeah, I know, Maral, it's fine. You don't have to defend yourself. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, Maral, it's all good, it's all good. How are you, by the way, doing, Maral? How's life? Life is boring. It feels so bad, man. Yeah, it's strict lockdown, huh? Yeah. You're just fucking trapped there. You, you, you left this prison to go into another one. That's funny, yeah? <laughs> At least here you were treated. People brought you food and everything. You went from one prison where you got fucking room service to another prison where you got to do all the shit yourself. Feels bad, man. 
force was the best. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Should get yourself the vaccine. Oh no, no, they probably don't, I guess. They don't have it, right? No, they don't have it for young people. Yeah, only seniors, yeah. It's still half a year, I think. All this lockdown bullshit will still last half a year. Well, I don't know if the lockdown, like a few months. I think your room is still empty here. Yes, your room is still empty. Is it? Yeah, I think. I think you, you still have your room here. Nah, don't worry, Moral. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. Come on, like, what is this? If not, I'll just rent a place next to you. Come on, Moral. Are you trying to, you know, snuck in some guilt under the table? Like, yeah, teen. If there is no room for me, I'll just rent a room, you know, and just, you know, next close. As if I kicked you out. Come on. Yeah, you said it with happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is called, guys, emotional manipulation. Emotional manipulation and emotional abuse. <laughs> I'm getting abused, guys. I'm getting abused. But wait, she's a girl, so that that won't fly for me. People will just call me a fucking a loser and a sucker. Either way, that was just a joke, by the way. Just a joke, and guys, just a joke. I'm I'm not even on Twitch, so fuck you, guys. If you don't get it, then go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm almost conditioned to start apologizing. Fuck that shit, man. If you guys don't get that shit, not my problem. You call me misogynistic, I don't give a shit. Either way, uh, I'm going to be calling it a day, guys. People that want to come over, you can do so. The link doesn't even fucking work. People can try out the game if you want. Oh, there it is. And uh, DBX. Yeah, people that want to get some purpose, there it is. Also the DBX, please. And I'll see you guys. Uh... Yeah, tomorrow. Peace out.